51st career title for Max in his 100th final of his career. And Philip is 7th ATP World Tour double title. Want to start us off, Steve? Sure, real quick. Uh, Max, congratulations. Um, you obviously have a trophy case at home that is completely full. So now you have hopefully some wall space to uh, hang your trophy. Right. Well, it's great. Uh, New York in, in, in some way has to be different. And uh, I'm happy I've never had a trophy of that type. And it would be certainly uh, very different. It will stand out for so many years to come. Um, we got to meet the artist. It's, it's cool. Uh, like I said, it's, it's different. So uh, this tournament will bring many great memories for years to come because uh, the black courts were coming in here. We're not playing with the typical American ball that we always use here. And uh, well, I mean, referring to normally Memphis week was played with a Wilson ball. Now we're here playing with a different ball. So there was a lot of th things to get used to. And then uh, even before the final day, we got to meet the artist and he said, I'll reveal the secret. If you win the tournament, you'll get the painting. And we're like, wow. <laughs> so today we got to see it, and uh, it's going to be on the wall at the house. And, and one last question. You're 40. Uh, great accomplishments here in your 40s. What is it like to work with such a youngster uh, as your double partner at 32? <laughs> Well, it's great motivation because uh, even though I've come through um, many routes already on the ATP World Tour, uh, it's it's very exciting to share my experience with uh, a younger player. Philip is, uh, even though he's younger, there's many things that uh, I try to grasp from him, and uh, we try to come, you know, find common ground uh, on uh, whether it's a practice court or a match court or choosing a restaurant for dinner. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's just a, it's a pleasant experience for me, and uh, uh, I would like for him to achieve what I achieved, and therefore, you know, I'm happy to be part of his team and uh, hopefully get him a big titles uh, one day, w have him winning the Grand Slams, and uh, that would be a thrill for me. Right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> for both players, congratulations. I know it's hard to sink in. Just in a couple of past minutes, you guys were announced as the normal New York Open champions. What are your expectations, and did they live up to the hype as well as what do you think the future is for this tournament? Well, uh, New York obviously is a, an unbelievable city. Uh, we had uh, we went to an NHL, ga NHL match. It was the first match I've ever seen. It was unbelievable, and uh, the setup from the tournament is world class. I mean, the stadium here, the facility, uh, the courts. Uh, the hotel is close by. Um, from a player's point of view, I think it's a world-class tournament. Um, the crowd maybe was not as good in the beginning, but especially today in the doubles final, there was a huge crowd for doubles final, and uh, I think for the next years it will be a really, really good event and uh, pretty much welcomed on the tour. Yeah, I'm pretty sure for the same thing, sharing the same thoughts. Uh, um, uh, being an inaugural event, I'm sure it, it takes a lot to get New Yorkers' attention. And uh, the fact that today we have a, a reigning U.S. Open finalists in a singles final, I'm sure it's going to get a lot of uh, attention. And uh, you know, I'm sure those of us that have been here, what 60 of us uh, amongst singles and doubles players, we're going to spread the word as much as we can. And uh, I have no doubt that this is going to be a popular destination in the World uh, ATP World Tour. And uh, um, uh, yeah, this tournament uh, will continue to excel. Anything else for the champs? All right, thanks. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.